Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So today is going to be the first time I've actually tried running this new engine test stand that I bought from the UK. I don't know that it has a name so I can't really reference it. Um, but many of you have seen it. They're all over eBay. Many people have them. Um, so this is the first time I've actually used it. And I do have the stock tank that came with it even though initially I was had my misgivings about this tank setup or the tank in general. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I've got some Omega 10% fuel in here. And I've got my TSI or Tiger Shark Industries 122 stroke engine here with a Zor 177 prop. Now, this engine is one that I featured in a video back in January where I've only run it one time on video. This engine, when I purchased it, it did not come with an exhaust. And I have not been able to find an exhaust that matches the bolt pattern at all so what i've got on here is a thunder tiger 120 exhaust and it's even the bolt spacing is still too narrow so this is held on with one screw and a wire tie which for a bench run is not okay is is acceptable because if i have to i can always just grab the exhaust and hold it but obviously this engine could never fly in this configuration and i don't even know if this wire tie is going to help at all um, I do want to do some static thrust tests of this engine eventually if I have any confidence that this exhaust is going to stay on but that's kind of the point of this video run this engine see how it operates see if I can get it tuned and also test out this stand so let's do it Okay, so that was a pretty decent run of this engine and a good evaluation of this stand. And my first comments are these silly ass wood screws that are provided with the stand, not adequate for holding the engine down. So I'm obviously gonna have to go to the hardware store and replace these wood screws with some uh, machine screws with uh, wing nuts or at least blocking washers 
bolt it through and secure it a lot better because clearly wood screws not the way to go but i did want to use this stand just as it came just as a test perhaps this 120 size engine wasn't the best choice to use as a test bed or maybe it was either way the engine ran fine all the vibration you saw was not because the engine is bad or because the prop is imbalanced it's all because the engine was large and wood screws are not adequate to hold this damn stand in place aside from that everything went pretty well my wire tie didn't hold but yet my muffler also didn't come off leaks like a sieve but uh, otherwise pretty successful run test of this stand and run of this engine so thank you for watching